Hey guys, The Architect here, bringing you the officially first episode of the Revit Every Tool. We're going to cover every tool, if you can imagine that, starting from the simplest down to the most detailed. First, let's take a look at the Revit button. This is actually what this button up here is called. Most people don't know that. They call it the R button. doesn't necessarily matter, but there's not a lot to cover here, but there are some things that you probably wouldn't know exist or that really you wouldn't use in a day-to-day -day basis but you might find handy sometime. Um, first of all looking at these two buttons here that will show which documents you have open if you have a bunch of different projects open that gets to be nice. Um, generally it will just show you all the recent documents you have open. Uh, this new tab allows you to create a new project family mass title block annotation symbol open open a project family Revit file of different file type IFC building component even sample files um, obviously the save as allows you to save those yeah, but in here actually the library option under save as you can save a specific family or group or even a view that's that could come in quite handy uh, export there are numerous ways of exporting from Revit specifically CAD formats a lot of people who aren't using Revit are still using AutoCAD and so these are the formats you use probably DWG but plenty of options there DWF building site for an exchange file FBX file I definitely have used that a lot when going to 3ds Max and other modeling programs family types XML, IFC, there's a database. There's a lot more down here actually. Images and animation, a walkthrough. I would probably use other programs to do a walkthrough, but uh, if you want to get a quick image out, you can actually set the resolution yourself. Um, some other underutilized tool, I believe, is a solar study. Most people don't end up doing solar studies in Revit, but you can get a quick video with in just about no time they give you an idea of the complete solar study of your building uh, reports you can actually export schedules or room area reports into excel you can actually just get raw data out that way um, some options is just set up some basic default options if you're exporting EWGs and whatnot the suite workflow uh, this, this is actually fantastic now I don't have any other Autodesk products installed but if I had others it will populate those automatically or you could create some yourself. Uh, I've used this mainly for setting up 3ds Max projects going from 3ds Max to Revit. When in one click of a button you can set up uh, your project to be linked in to a 3ds Max file automatically allowing you to come back to Revit make changes and have them automatically updated in 3ds Max through this workflow manager and it's something you can set up after you have other programs installed publish this is something if you're throwing sheets online is generally used more for engineers I have not used that myself print obviously print basic print options whether it's sheets or views allowing you to set up a print I'm um, gonna come down here into this options menu a lot of these things are things I probably won't mess with uh, whether it's you know a username whatnot um, yeah, obviously sign in with your username. Um, you can have save intervals. That's not something I normally do. Although if people don't save, you want to. These are all things you can set up on your own user interface. It's just basically how everything looks. A lot of these things I would not mess with, especially if you're a first-time user, early user of Revit, just because most of the people don't bother changing these things, and it's going to be to your benefit to kind of put yourself on the same playing field but again if you want to change all these things you're more than welcome to just basic colors whether you know text size showing up background transparent or opaque file locations a lot of these have to do with your templates and templates are just basically things that set up standards for the how Revit functions or what you know, how certain things are shown or th small things like that and those things that you can edit but that's definitely more advanced down the line. Rendering if you have set up some kind of network rendering where you can hit a button and it'll render on another computer of yours. Revit will actually check spelling, believe it or not. 
for the longest time I did not know this was a thing but it, it goes through the standard spell check as if you were on every other program but uh, it's something you have to go do yourself instead of it doing it along the way steering wheels same thing these are most of the things I would not would not mess with keep default view cube if you want to change this up a bit you can but this is just just a little navigation tool and macros that's not something I use a lot but I know a lot of people have made their own macros whether it's to improve something or allow something to get produced quicker but not something I'm going to go over really anytime soon but if if that were the case y'all could just let me know all right and actually the last thing I'll talk about is the close option it it does more than you think no actually it doesn't it closes but I actually use it quite a lot I I regularly have multiple projects open and you can see these here if I had multiple projects open you see all these open projects and you get to the point where you have windows on top of windows and if you just want to get rid of all of the windows of one project you can have that project currently open in a view in an activated view and if you hit close it's going to close all the windows of that specific project so it is quite nice it's not just a simple exit tool the only way close will function as a way of quitting Revit is if I'm here on this home screen but that's it for <laughs> the Revit button uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate all the comments I, I'm really looking for comments now because that's going to be what's going to help me grow and help me decide what is best for the community because I'm really here for y'all I want to share my knowledge in, in any way possible so I'll see you in the next episode of Revit 2017 Every Tool thank you guys